All right, all right. Greetings and peace. My name is Neil, and I'm here for the people. Greetings, Earthlings and Star Seeds. Star Seeds, including the ones that's from all of the different stars that's out there, and from the ones that have the ET history, in which that's pretty much all of us, if not all of us, because I just learned that there's there's <laughs> there's two different uh, meanings of star seeds but I won't go into that for right now I know that I am a star seed because I do remember my well at least a piece of my ET experiences a piece of it and I go into that in my other video where I have my drawings and I, I explain my experience but for, forget that this one is about 360 consciousness and many many people are not aware of their 360 consciousness and me I am aware of it because I am out by myself outside just figuring all this stuff out all of my spiritual gifts out as many as possible but the, my main focus right now has been for the past year is my intuition my intuitive uh, gift my intuitive ability and that's what I've been developing for the past year and I, just a few days ago I was saying to myself man I've been developing this for the past year now I can only imagine on how advanced I will be by this time next year as long as I stay focused on this ability and developing it by time next year man I'll be able to, to tell so much about people places and things just by looking at it and just by thinking about it it's because this ability is really really amazing but what I'm gonna do is talk to you guys about the 360 consciousness we all have it it's just not all of us who are aware of it and the way that I came became aware of it is <laughs> by walking across the street the very very first time I remember walking down the street and I had my headphones off and I was just by myself walking down the street quiet as heck and usually I try to breathe correctly and so that I can allow information to come through and that's where my guidance system my inner guidance system say do this do that do this it comes in easier but while walk, walking down the street and then I was walking down this street right here very very busy streets cars are like almost constantly coming down and it for the the unconscious person they have to look all the time and be careful but I'm walking down the street and I just get this feeling like huh I feel like I can cross now and this is like without me looking I just had this this feeling like cars are still going going by but for one few few seconds I say maybe about five seconds I got like this feeling like I can cross now and I'm just looking straight I'm not looking nowhere else I'm just looking straight and I'm like huh I can cross now and then I look back and there was no cars I was like whoa that was weird so then another time another day came down did the same thing I'm like huh I can cross now and I look and then by the time the third time came I said okay this must be some kind of ability going on here because this is the third time this thing happened so I think maybe about the fourth time when I got that feeling I said okay I'm just gonna go I'm not gonna look <laughs> I'm just gonna cross no actually this the, the time that I just crossed it was um, where was I it was a yeah, two-way street this way and I was going across it wasn't an intersection though but it was a smaller street that's when I wanted to test it out so that it won't be busy but I'm, I'm looking looking straight I'm not looking le left or right. Man, my peripheral vision is, is amazing too. My peripheral vision comes out to like, to like here, to all the way out here and, and around. That's my peripheral visions, per vision. Some people, vi peripheral vision I'm told is like this <laughs> or like that. But mine comes out and some people's are even further, but mine, as far as the physical vision, physical from your, your physical eyes mine comes out down and around back back and around all like this so I can see really really wide especially if I focus enough 
So then, by the fourth time, I started to feel these cars. These cars, I'm like, huh, I can cross now. Just looking straight, I can cross now. And it's, a, it's amazing because I realized that I can take my consciousness and I can move it. <laughs> I can move it around my head, my whole head. So it's like I'm not too limited in this body because, I mean, when you get out of it, when you get, once you get out of it, you just, you completely have, well, for those who have a soul, you completely have 360 consciousness anyways. It's like, you don't have a body. You don't have a body. Because I remember getting out of this body a long, long time ago. And I was going up to a higher dimension. And when I was floating, I was literally floating up. I was floating up. Then I looked down. And I was like, I don't have a body. I, didn't, I wasn't amazed at it, but I just looked down. I was like, hmm, no body. I wasn't speaking of nothing. I was probably telepathic, which, uh, yes, I am naturally telepathic. Actually, all of us are. But a lot of people don't realize that. For the people who have souls, um, I don't know if they have telepathic abilities or not. But anyways, I was floating up, and I just looked. Like, oh, I don't have a body. And then I just <laughs> kept going up. But then when I was going up to a higher dimension, there was something that was limiting me. And when I woke up, intuitively, I knew that there was a reason why I couldn't go up there. And I intuitively feel that I wasn't spiritually evolved enough to go up to a higher dimension. Either that or something else was preventing me from going up. But it was some kind of being or some kind of force. That's what it is, a force. It was a force that came down and, and just pulled me back down and said, no, you can't go down there. It didn't say it, but the energy coming from it that force was saying you can't go up so that's my experience as, as far as that when you get out of the body you can just feel everything but when you're in the body you are we are limited but we still have some kind of um, 360 consciousness because some people can feel things through their hands and know things through their hands um, I'm getting better at that through the hands some people can hear through their hands. <laughs> it sounds crazy to the masses, but some people can hear through their hands. And it's uh, it's amazing. And um, let's see here. Oh, and crossing the street, back to crossing the street. So, so when I'm crossing the street, now that I know that I have this ability, and I, I, I'm a lot better at utilizing it, so what I'll do is, I can go walking down the street, looking straight, and then I can move my consciousness and focus on the area of where the cars are coming from before I cross. And now I'm at a point where I can pinpoint how many cars are in the vicinity behind my head. I'm, I'm like, yo, this is crazy. This is amazing because just I did it. I think I did it earlier today, earlier this morning, earlier this morning, about maybe 10 feet away. I, I got the feeling like, okay, I can cross now. Without looking, I can cross now. But then I stopped and I said, wait a minute, let me figure out how many cars are coming though before I actually, cro actually cross. And then I felt it, I'm like, okay, it's one coming. It's one about 10 feet away. I look back, boom, it was. And I was able to still cross, <laughs> still cross. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. So I gotta tell people about this, that it is possible. I call it a 360 consciousness. Consciousness as far as, yeah, I saw somebody crossing the street. I thought they should get come over here. 360 consciousness regarding um, your vision, being able to sense things around you. But you also have another definition of 360 consciousness as far as um, information and knowing what, how life really is and what to do at all times and stuff like that. Because you got the third, third, 33rd degree um, Mason, masonry people, they only have 33 degrees, but other people, uh, other people have 360 degrees. So it's like, wh what would you rather mess with? 30, 30, 33 or would you rather mess with 360 degrees of knowledge? Knowledge, that's what it is, yes, of knowledge. So which one do you, do you want? So that's what I'm saying that there's two different consciousness. So me, I'm talking about the 360 consciousness as far as being aware of what's going on around you without actually looking. So that's why 
I tell people when you're around me, it's just naturally for me to read you. So I don't even have to look at you. You could be like next to me or you could be behind me and I could just feel your energy and I'm just reading you just in, just for just randomly, just so I know who's around me at whatever time, especially if you're in my vicinity vicinity and you're coming closer to me and and you're sitting the closer you get to me the more i'm gonna read you that's what i'll say but the further you're away then the further you're not really considered a, a threat but i still am gonna get at least a light reading on you and when i say reading people man this ability is just getting stronger and stronger i'm at the point where i'm almost able to tell people's oh what the heck Mm. Another one. I'm surrounded by beautiful women around here. Seriously, they might they might not be on the conscious level that I like I like them, but still physically, boy oh boy, some beautiful women around here. But anyways, that's off the topic. I'm gonna go into another topic about soulmates. Um, let's see here. I gotta get back to the to where I where I was at. Um, <laughs> that that the girl threw me off. Her tatas was like showing, so I love tatas. But anyways, um, the 360 consciousness. So if see people, you you gotta you gotta be by yourself. That's what I'm saying. See, so many humans, especially Americans, are so programmed to to have to be with somebody else all of the time, or to be doing something, doing something where it's either watching TV, talking on the phone, texting on the internet looking up crap on YouTube, stupid stuff that's not even uplifting them spiritually in any kind of way, uh, eating, let's see, uh, at the bar, at the club, drinking, or just, just sitting on the porch acting stupid with their friends. It's like people like that, they don't know nothing. They don't want to know, know nothing. Those are the people of the masses who don't want to spiritually evolve and who who aren't aware of their abilities if they are aware of it they try to suppress it because they're too scared of it it's just like 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 for example for me when i was wondering what was going on with how i was able to tell things about people strangers that i never met before when they leave the restaurant i would just know things about them so instead of being scared about that ability I started to investigate. I was more curious. I'm like, this is this is nice. I want to know what's going on because I love this. So the more I got to know about it and the more I developed it, developed it, I got to a point where, hey, I know how this thing works and I'm going to keep developing it as and take it as far as I can take it. So now I know about this ability and it's really helping me and especially helping me out with dealing with the right people. As soon as they come up to me, I can start. I feel their energy, and I just read that energy because energy has information. I'll say it again: energy has information. Just like the energy from the sun comes down into our bodies, that's information. When we eat those natural fruits, the sun goes into the, the natural fruits. We eat it. The information gets inside of our body, and then boom, it gives information to our DNA, and then our DNA is supposed to be changing. Energy has information, and I knew that way before I got into this spiritual, this spiritual stuff, spiritual awakening, whatever you want to call it. Way before that, just like I knew about teleportation before the movie Jumper, before the new the movie Jumper and any other X Men type stuff, I knew about that before it, but I just really wasn't too fully conscious of it. And I'm gonna go into about teleportation and. and well, maybe actually, I did say I wanted to do it in this this video because it's part of the 360 consciousness and special abilities. Um, speaking of consciousness, I remember when I was younger, intuitively, I remember being on a higher dimension. Higher dimension where I was able to manifest stuff quickly just by just focusing my mind. Boom, I got it. But then when I was 16... Being in this three 3D 3D world, I say to myself like, man, why can I get? <laughs> I said to myself, well, why can't I get stuff faster? I'm like, what the fuck is going on with this? It's like stuff taking so long to come to me. So I'm like, well, I didn't understand it. 
but there were some times where I would manifest quickly. Like uh, that PlayStation example that I told you guys one time. I just said it one time, and I said it with a certain vibration that was really right on point. Because back then, it was a Sony PlayStation that was popular. And then I just sat down in front of my TV. Back then, I was watching TV by myself, and I just said, Man, I wish I had my own Sony PlayStation. And I said it just like that, and I was thinking about it for just a few seconds, really, just a few seconds. And then either a few seconds later or the next day, my aunt gave me a call and she was like, do you want such and such, such and such is PlayStation? And I was like, yes. And she was like, okay, you can come by and get it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that was one of my fastest manifestations way back then when I was a teenager. But being in a higher dimension, when people say that you can manifest things quickly by just thinking that's true. I remember having that ability and the other ability I remember having before I came down to this 3D crap is uh, teleportation. Because I remember when I used to, well I still walk a lot, but when I was walking as a teenager before I was really in, t uh, in love with walking as I am now, before that I used to had this feeling like, man, I, I want to teleport. I want to get home faster. And I, I had this feeling that it was possible. And I knew it was possible. And that's because I used to do it before the movie Jumper. And when I saw this movie, long time ago when it first came out, I connected with it instantly, instantly. And then I said, I got to get that DVD and, I, and I'm going to watch it because it is possible to teleport. And Bobby Hammett, Hammett said it in one of his YouTube videos when he was on a uh, live talk radio one of those um, or blog talk radio and it's one of my favorite Bobby Hammett clips and I have it on my phone as an mp3 and I listen to it so much because he talks about that was something that we used to do uh, and the, the video on YouTube is called free your mind Bobby Hammett watch that video and listen to it, man. It's it, it cracked it cracked me up the first time I heard it, and I just listened to it over and over again. I I love it. He was talking about we used to do it with with pyramids, and I'll let you go, guys. Um, view that. But me, I know it's possible by doing it with just the physical body, and you can do it as you, when you get out of the body too. Just think about where you want to be. Bam, you're right there. That's how I want to do it in this physical body. So I gotta learn this because maybe before I got into this body I knew that it was possible as far as on a physical plane but I just forgot it once I got in here I know that there's a lot of abilities too but I won't go into it because it might frighten some people uh, well I'll go into one I know that we can fly I know, I know that that's possible humans can fly and that's one of the reasons why I connect with Thor and Superman those are my two favorite Superheroes and Thor is I like him uh, I say it's like 1A 1B between the two Yeah, because whenever they fly I get it's just like uh, It's like a, a connection especially when I see Superman just going up straight up I love seeing him go go straight up in the air like that just watching him go straight up it, It's a connection and I know that that's possible that flying ability is a poss is possible, but it's a whole lot of other abilities that I'm focusing on so that I can get my access to, to the ones that is going to benefit me, not for the ones egotistical, e egotistically, because I know now that um, if you're doing it out of just being egotistical, oh, I want superhuman strength so I can beat people up <laughs> and stuff like that, you're not going to access it. But you're going to access your special abilities when you're doing it to help humanity. And they're going to just come online. And yeah, pretty much once you do everything, you evolve spiritually. Then that's when you start developing your abilities. Just like me, I've been developing this intuition. This intuition is a special ability. And if you, depending on how you look at it, I consider it as a, a superpower. <laughs> I consider it as a superpower because the things that I'm able to know about people, places, and things without physically being in front of them, of them, and also being in front of them, it's 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 amazing. And people don't even know the stuff that I know about them just by coming into contact with them in any kind of way, 
any kind of way, even if sometimes within a few seconds, bam, I can give you a whole, well, maybe not a whole details about yourself, and I never met you before, but at least a brief description of who you are and what you're, you're into and stuff like that. It could be text, any kind of text, email, phone, whatever. Um, I can just hear your voice. I can know, and of course, if, I, if I'm in front of you. If I'm in front of you, that's even more perfect because I get like a whole full um, details even more if I just see you. And then when I first got into this intuition thing, um, way back at the restaurant, I was saying to myself, I wonder if this is an ability where I can read people's souls. If I can just look at them or have some kind of contact with them, I can read their souls. And it's kind of like a soul reader. In the movie, uh, that werewolf movie and vampire movie, I think it's called Underworld. Underworld. I think they had soul readers, if I remember correctly. They had soul readers where they can just look at people and just know stuff about them. And... Mm, I, had a, I have a feeling that this intuition is really like reading people's souls. And that's why I'm able to know things about people. I, that might be on a deeper level. Because this ability is really, really... <laughs> oh, man. I talk about it a lot because I'm amazed at it. At, at the, the stuff, the information that just comes in. I'm like, wow. And for the people who never experienced this before... I have to let them know about it, that it's possible. And that's why I'm talking about these special abilities to let you know that it's possible. And you can do this too yourself. So it's not egotistical and arrogant and all of that stuff, but it's telling you that it's possible and you have a lot of special abilities and we all do. And some of us are more aware of ours than others. So that's that. Let me go ahead and cut this out. This thing probably been like 15, 20 minutes and way beyond what I, <laughs> what I intended to do. Um, then I'm just gonna go and figure out what are the other videos next. Alright, hotel.